Brother Furkan has asked a question that lately, Alhamdulillah, he's come closer to Islam. Previously, he used to offer two or three times salah a day. Now, you offer six times, mashallah. Besides five times, maybe he even offers the tahajjud salah. Alhamdulillah. But nowadays, because he's facing some problems, because of this problem, the thought comes in his mind that God is not helping you. And these thoughts are disturbing. Even though he prays six times, he cannot connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What should he do? It's common that when a person becomes more Islamic, the shaitan tries to get him away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's his duty. You should be a good Muslim and should know how to abstain from getting tempted from the shaitan. These are mainly waswasa. These are whispering of the Satan. As Allah says in the Quran, in the last surah of the Quran, Surah Nas, chapter 114, that this, the Satan, they whispers in your ear and withdraw. Among them, there are men engine. So, my suggestion to you is that when these whispers come, you should know how to overcome, as Allah says in the Quran, that a true believer is one who always says, Alhamdulillah. Suppose you're going lost in business, and maybe you went and lost of $2,000. So Satan will come and say, see, Allah is not helping you. You went in a loss of 2,000 business. A true woman says, Alhamdulillah, I only went in loss of $2,000. I could have lost $5,000. You say, Alhamdulillah, thank you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I only lost $2,000. If there is a problem, if suppose you are sick and you have fever, you can always say, the said, see, now you are sick, you have got fever. Allah is not with you. you Alhamdulillah. It's Allah's help. My fever is only 100 degrees. It could have been 110 degrees or 105 degrees Fahrenheit. So here, what you should do, you should be able to overcome. These are whispers of the Satan because the Satan knows. Now this particular human being has come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is praying not five times, six times salah. So my advice to you would be that especially when you are reading the tahajjud salah and when you are doing sajda, at that time, you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when such thought comes, you should say, A'uzu billahi minash shaitani rajeem. You seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed. And that's what the Quran says in Surah Araf chapter 7, verse number 200. That when the Satan whispers, say, I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the accursed. Inshallah, when you say, A'uzu billahi minash shaitani rajeem, Inshallah, the Satan will go away. And you recite the last two surahs of the Quran, that is the Mawzatain, Surah Falak and Surah Nas, surah number 113 and 114. These two were recommended by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were recommended by a prophet, the last two surahs, for such situation. And in fact, your faith should become stronger. And we should be more optimistic than pessimist. These are common things the Satan tries to deal with you. So my advice to you would be that read Auz bin Nashadan regime, read the last two surahs and be optimistic. And say, Alhamdulillah, I only went in less loss. I could have gone in bigger loss. Anything happens, you should be optimistic and not pessimist. This was all that we could handle in this session. Inshallah, till we meet after two weeks. As I mentioned in my last session, that because of my other commitments, we have kept this program. Ask Dr. Zakir and his son Sheikh Farik every alternate Saturdays. So inshallah now, we'll meet after two weeks, after a fortnight. Inshallah, same time, 11 o'clock, Malaysia, 11 p.m. Uh, Makkah time, it will be 6 p.m. and GMT, 3 p.m. till we meet. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa akhiru da'wan alhamdulillah rabbil alamin